And then we got, there were the OG8 Skylanders, the Giants. Now, whoop de doo I have them, I have all of them. And I, cool, right? However, um, you can probably guess based on the uh, thumbnail of this video. What if I got them in box? Wouldn't that be a bit cooler, right? Well, uh, we have just that. Let's go through these bad boys. I probably should have put that a bit better and cut these open. We'll get through it. Gotta be pretty careful here. A lot of tape. We'll get through it. We'll get through it. But as you can see here, number one is Pothead. Finally unsheathed in there. Now look at that. Very, very nice condition. The seller did put masking tape on there just to help the glue out a bit so it doesn't um, completely come off the backing, which is very nice, but very, very pristine condition on the box there. Very, very minor dinks and dents. So there we go, number one hothead. Still very disappointed that uh, his forehead does not glow. Uh, I think that was uh, very, very underwhelming. Or it might be his fist, I can't remember. Anyway, all of it should have gone. Silly, silly decision on uh, on Activision's part there. So I guess we'll we'll put him there, replace over uh, the out-of-box one. Then, of course, we got Swarm. Swarm is one of the classics. I think a lot of people had Swarm when he first came out. And they definitely made quite a few of like him. Sorry about the camera angles. We've unsheathed the Swarm. Look at that. Again such nice condition on the box there again all of them will have the masking tape just to help the glue out but it's good that it's masking tape because or painter's tape i think it might be it doesn't um damage the card when you peel it off too much which is really really nice but oh swarm love how his uh his stingers glow and his eyes not sure if he's a bee or a wasp he's kind of a bit of both really He's, he's a solid giant, not my favorite, but you can't go wrong with an inbox one. Now, uh, next up, we got Tree Rex. Tree Rex only has gnarly Tree Rex uh, in box, so unfortunately, he's the only one who I don't technically have one in box, but I'm on the hunt for a starter pack to at least get him or a gnarly Tree Rex in box. So we will put him to the side for now. Still got these two. Look at that. Uh, some little Mike Wazowski over there. Well, don't I just have news for you? Well, he works much nicer. Much nicer. And see him. See him from his bag. But there we go. Look at that bad boy in there. I brawl. Again, very, very nice condition on the box there. Very, very nice. And oh, I brawl is probably up there in my favorite giants. I think Tree Rex does have the number one spot, but Tree Rex definitely. Uh, Eyebrow, I'm just so excited. But eyebrow, definitely probably a solid number two there. Love how his whole eye glows. And just very, very cool move set. Very, very cool. We'll pop him up there with the other big boys. 
we got a little Archean robot there. Let's uh, <laughs> let's grab him out, shall we? See if he trying to do this one-handed is not. came off from the top but there we go we got bouncer here very very nice again box in immaculate condition you cannot go wrong and bouncer very very solid uh giant sort of like um drobot if he was a giant and not as good but uh still very very cool man very very cool and he glows very nicely as well in there. Uh, I do wish, however, if we would have gotten the um, uh, T-Rex with a minigun on his back as the tech giant. However, I don't think he would have matched the vibe of the uh, others all too well. So I think Bowser's, uh, Bounce is pretty cool. Again, sorry, just too excited. So we'll scoot, scoot him over a bit there, making a bit more room. We got three more here. Or do we? <laughs> oh, all right. We got Crusher. Let's get Slide him out there. Free him from his cage. We got Crusher. Very, very nice. I do have so many crushes. However, I've got an inbox crusher now. So I think that trumps all of the other ones. And again, very, very immaculate condition on the box there. Cannot complain at all. And Crusher is very, very solid. I love his uh, reformability. Uh, I also find it funny that his crush, uh, like his hammer is also canonically named Crusher, so it's Crusher's Crusher. That's just so silly. And uh, I have obviously made a custom of him. I don't know if you've seen that video, but uh, if you haven't, go check that one out. It's a pretty, pretty cool custom in my first attempt at making one. So we'll slide him in the back there, scoot them over a bit. They're starting to, starting to run out of a little bit of room, but uh, we'll get through it. Next up, we have Ninjini. Oh, hers came off very nicely. Um, she for the Ninjini. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Again, box in. Very nice condition. Very, very nice. Now, Ninjini is uh, probably my least favorite of the Giants. Uh, she just attacks way too slowly in Giants itself. However, I uh, did use her in Swap Force a few times, and she attacks quicker, which definitely boosts her up a bit. And she's got such a unique design and moveset as well. Being able to go into a, a Genie lamp, very, very nice. And I think she is also the tallest, if not one of the tallest, Skylanders ever made. You can see how how much higher she is in that box compared to all the other ones so far. Very, very cool. Oh, and he's hiding a little bit there, but we got Thumpback. Cannot go wrong with Thumpback. Let's get him out. He has been freed. We got Thump back. Look at that. Thumpback is maybe maybe tied for second favorite giant with our eyebrow for me there. Such such a cool design and such a fun character to play as. I love belly sliding and just swinging that massive anchor around. So fun and the light core elements on him, amazing. And he's 
quite a bit heavier than the other ones really and uh fun story this is actually only my second thump back fit yeah that is my only other one right there so cool to get one in box i'm looking for another out of box one um because i might be working on a custom forum as requested by a lovely viewer but we'll pop him up there and uh, you may be thinking that that's all of them attacked us that's all of them well maybe all of the base figures however we may have two variants here we will start with this one just here oh no the back's showing whatever could it be it is none other than granite crusher very very nice variant the color scheme on him so amazing the blue crystals amazing and again box in immaculate condition cannot complain at all and uh you may be wondering uh what what is this well for any non-australians big w is sort of like walmart it's not like exactly the same but it's like a big big shopping center sort of uh, not shopping center but big big shop sort of thing it's got everything and anything doesn't have food though i know walmart's have like grocery sort of items big w does not <laughs> but uh we'll pop we'll pop granite crusher in front of uh the normal crusher there and then you got a bit of a sneak preview there but we got a scarlet and genie We will unsheath her. Look at that. Probably one of my favorite in game variants across the whole franchise. The color scheme, the gold and katanas, just the, the red and the gold highlights. Absolutely beautiful figure. And again, box is in immaculate condition cannot complain at all with that in the slightest we'll put these guys to the side there and look at that look at that all of the giants we'll try and get a wider shot here oh you can see them all there look at that look at that guys now let me know in the comments which one of your giants is your favorite maybe which one you got first but this gives me so much nostalgia i consider this to be my my skylanders infinity stones if you will like i it was every kid's dream back then to get all eight of the giants and i've done that and then some all in box in immaculate condition and i got these for really really good prices uh i think majority of the uh, middle guys just the normal ones they were about um 15 aud which is about 10 usd maybe um seven pound 50 maybe depending on the conversion rates these guys were a little bit more obviously being the variants i think they're only only 10 aud more so i got this lot for an absolute steal in my opinion cannot go wrong no faults whatsoever and I hope you guys enjoy seeing these as much as I do. I cannot get over the fact that I have all of the Giants in box now. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And I hope you guys enjoy all this content I'm spewing out. Uh, there's definitely a few more hauls coming next week. So stay tuned for those. Uh, I've got some figures that I'm picking up tomorrow. Just two, but they are two very, very cool figures. So stay tuned to see those as well. And as always, see you next time. Hope you enjoy.